OK, so now we need to uh, modify the structure for home. So right here, whenever the application loads, we need to fetch a list of articles. We're going to fetch uh, six. So whenever the application loads again, it's going to show some default articles. So we can have something on the screen. Then we need to dispatch a different action. We're going to di dispatch an action for this. And we're going to dispatch a different action uh, for whenever the uh, user types something. And we're going to do a search with the keywords. So we need two different actions. I'm going to delete this for now. And I'm going to go right here to source and create an action directory. So I'm going to say actions. We didn't have this just yet. So I'm going to say index.js. So now, again, each action is going to use Axios. So I'm going to import Axios from Axios. Good. That's the first thing. Now, since we are using JSON server, uh, we, need to, uh, we need the actual uh, URL. And we are using localhost 3004. So I'm going to create a variable. It's going to call URL. And we're going to host everything inside of a variable so we don't have to type it every time we need to uh, make a request to this. So an action is just a function. So I'm going to say export, then function, open and close. And each, uh, each uh, function needs a name. All right. So we can call it. So I'm going to call it art artists uh, list and then all because, you know, it makes sense. We are getting all the artists. So each uh, action, whenever we dispatch an action, is going to return uh, return an object. And this object contains a payload and a type, remember? So we're going to say type, and then we're going to say payload. Now the type is going to be the actual name. So we're going we're gonna to call it get artists and then all, again, because it makes sense. Then we're going to do a comma, and now the Redux promise comes into place. Whenever we uh, invoke this, whenever we call this uh, action, we dispatch an action with this name, the application is going to go here and it's going to immediately return this. The problem is that we are making uh, a request and a request might take some time. Remember with, with Axios, we make the request and then returns the promise and then might take a few seconds or milliseconds or whatever. So this, act, this return, it's not going to stop for the uh, request, you know, for the uh, promise. So we need a way to stop everything until the uh, promise gets resolved and then return the payload. And that's what the promise middleware does. It's going to stop everything until the promise is done. And then it's going to return this with the actual payload and the, uh, the, the response from the database. So that, how does uh, this works? Real simple. We're going to say const, I'm going to create a variable, and I'm going to call it request. Could be any name. So I'm going to say axios.get, open and close. And I'm going to use template, template strings. And first, we need to use the URL we are including at the top, forward slash, and then artists. Now, what we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be limiting this. So I want to limit everything to six results. Good. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do space. And then, of course, this returns a promise with a response. Oh, response. And it's going to do something with that response. Now, if uh, since we, the only thing we are doing is just returning the data and the response, there's no need to do this and to do this return. What we could do, we can just pass response.data. So the only thing that is going to get returned to this variable is going to be this, right? There's no need to do the other thing. So, okay, so after the, uh, the Axio, Axios is done, and the response that the promise gets resolved is going to return whatever data we get from this request. Okay, so I'm going to copy the request and I'm going to paste it down here. So now promise middleware knows that we have a promise right here and it's going to await until everything it gets resolved and then it's going to return this. That is the main point of using this. It's really, really, uh, you know, great. <laughs> Fix it, fixes a lot of uh, issues for us. So I'm going to save it. So now this action is ready. What uh, we don't uh, have yet is going to be the actual reducer. We don't have a get artists all reducer. So let's go to the reducers and create one. I'm going to go right here and say case, open and close, and it's going to be called get artists all. This one is going to return something. What it's going to be returning is going to be first the dot 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 and the previous state. And then we're going to do coma. What this one is going to be doing is going to be artist 
and then list. It's going to return a list of artists. And the, uh, the contents of this uh, artist's list is going to be the action.payload. Right. So this is pretty much done. Of course, it's working. We are not getting any errors. But for now, what we need to do, we need to go to home and convert this home, promote it to a container. So I'm going to go uh, right here to source, create a new file. Sorry, not a new file, a new directory that is going to be called containers. Now, this container is going to be the actual home. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it uh, home, home container. You can call this whatever you want and then .js. So this home container is going to pretty much have all have uh, all the logic we have at home. So I'm going to copy all and I'm going to paste it. Then we're going to be modifying this, don't worry. And this one, delete it all. <laughs> yeah, sorry for that. Just be going to delete everything. So now what we're going to be doing is just create a, a functional component and you know include this uh, home container. You're just delegating. So I'm going to say import and then react from react just like that then we close it and we want to import home container and that is the keyword we know that home is a container because it's related to is going to be related to redux so it's dot 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 forward slash containers forward slash and home container this one is going to just return a function that is going to be called home open and close again return and then we return some JSX. We're going to be returning a div with this home container inside. And of course, we need to do export default and then home. Good. Of course, this one is going to fail because it's outside. We are making, uh, we are requesting this uh, views from uh, components and you know we are just behind this. So, okay, first I'm going to get rid of this component will mouth for now. And I'm going to get rid of this uh, artist list. Let me just delete it. We're going to use it, this, use this in a minute. We're going to be changing and using this one for now. So first we need to change, uh, we need to change some things. We need to change uh, the search and the artist list because we have the wrong uh, directory right here. So this one is going to be inside dot and then components forward slash. And the same thing with the other one, it's component forward slash. So let me copy this and paste it. Right. Okay, so at least we get something. That's good. We are not getting any data, but you know, we get something. We are not going to use a state, so I'm going to delete the state. That's good. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to fetch the articles whenever the application loads. Okay, so we need a few things. We need to first connect with Redux. And then we need to uh, bring the actions and use bind action creators. So I'm going to say import. And the first thing is connect. And then it's going to be from and then react and then Redux. Good. That's the first thing. Then we need to import the actions we're going to be using. For now, we have only one. We have this artist list all. So I'm going to go back to home container and bring that one. So it's going to be from and then dot 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 forward slash actions. Good. We're going to be using bind action creators because you know for, we know that we have one action, but we're going to be using uh, another one in a minute. So it's going to be bind action, just like this, and then creators from and then Redux. I should be getting the snippet. I'm not getting the snippets. I don't know. I don't know why. Sometimes it doesn't work the way the way you want so okay so now we have the artist list all and we have the divine action creators and we have the connect so what we need to do now is to uh, convert the home to use redux so i'm gonna delete it all i'm gonna say export then default and instead of uh exporting the uh the home default there we go okay there we go export default and we're going to uh, use connect. Now connect is going to use the map state to props and the map this patch to props. For now, we're not going to use it. So I'm going to say just null, right? Okay. So if I save this, of course, nothing is going to be working. Okay. So now what we need to do with the connect, we need to pass the actual uh, components. 
and this in this case it calls home but we already have a home so i'm going to call it home container okay so i'm going to copy and pass the home container i know okay that, that's working so now the first thing we need to do right the next thing we need to do is to do the map state to props and the map dispatch to props okay so first i'm going to do function and then map sorry map state to and then props now the map state to props uses a state and at the end it's just going to return something right okay so what is going to be returning is going to be the artists so i'm going to say artists just like this now inside artist is going to be uh, we can host whatever we get from the state dot artists if we go to the artist reducers this one is going to return an artist list but on the index of artist it, it's going to be called artists so this is what uh, the, the name the name we're going to be using inside home is going to be inside state and then the name whatever name we are passing if we are uh, creating this with docs this one uh, should be docs so we're going to say state and then artists okay and just for fun i'm going to console log uh, the state open close the state now we are not dispatching any action so you're not uh, really going to get anything so i'm going to create the map this patch to props you know the opposite of this map this patch and then two and then props open and close so this one has a dispatch just like that open and close again so what we're going to be using is going to be the bind action creators we have at the top we've uh, only have one action but we're going to be using uh, another one in a minute so we're going to say return and then bind action creators the first argument on this one is going to be the actions so we uh, we've uh, only have one which is the artist uh, list all so i'm going to be passing that one the second argument is going to be this this patch okay this patch so we have the map state to props and the dispatch to props ready. The thing is that we are not really using them. So I'm going to copy map state, map state to props and it's the first argument. And then the second one is going to be the dispatch. Right. I'm going to reload the page. And of course, at least uh, it's not failing. We get the actual view. So, okay. So inside the state, inside this, that state that props, we should be getting this function. So what I'm going to do, just, just to check, let me not do this. Oh, sorry. Now do this. And on the render, I'm going to do console.log and then this.props. Just to check if at least we get the action inside props. Okay. So let me make this bigger and go to console. I'm going to remove this and we don't really need it. So we have an object and we have artist, which is the uh, object. And then artist all, which is the function. This is our action. So we have it inside props. That's very good. Okay, that's good. So now let me let me just leave the uh, console open. We're going to use this in a minute. So just going to leave it open. Okay. So now we have the actions, uh, the action, the artist list all inside this component. So we need to make, a, we need to use it. We need to dispatch an action. So what uh, we're going to be doing is doing on the uh, component will mount. The application will start and we're going to do a request for, I don't know, six, uh, six, uh, uh, six views, six articles, just like we did here. So we say this, that props dot artists all because we have it inside props. This one is going to dispatch an action. It's going to go to the actions. It's going to dispatch it. It's going to get the data we need. It's going to trigger the get artist all the artist all is going to go to redux update the store and then we're going to be getting everything inside the console log so this is the second time all right this is the second request after we dispatch the action we get this and inside artist we have the list of artists so that that's really cool and we have six of course right so the next thing is going to be passing whatever we are getting inside artist and then artist list to the actual component that renders this information, which is going to be artist list. So I'm going to copy artist list and go right here at the bottom and, you know, include that component, open and close. So I'm going to be passing a prop with the, you know, the list of artists that of course makes sense, right? So it's going to be artists, just like this, artists, 
it's going to be equal to open and close and it's going to be inside this dot props dot artists just like this dot and then it's going to be called artist uh, list artists list oh it's with a uh, capital L so okay everything uh, kind of looks uh, nice let me just double check the artist reducers is artist uh, artist list it's going to be singular so let me just change it it's going to be artist list okay everything looks nice so now we're going to be getting an error now, if you remember the first time we do the console log this props, that there's that props at artist, it's uh, empty, you know? So we are trying to map something that, uh, you know, has no keys, is that it's empty. We cannot map it. So what we can do to fix this, in this case, what we can do, we can just add some checking right here. So we can add, we can check if the, uh, you know, the list it's empty or not, and do something if the list is not empty. If it's empty, of course, do nothing. So I'm going to say if props dot artists, just like this, it's, uh, it's of course, it's true. We're going to do something and I'm going to be adding an additional checking. I'm going to say props dot artists, just like this dot and then length. And it's greater than zero. So this way we are sure that we have something inside that uh, props that artists. All right. And if not, if it's empty, what we're going to be doing, we are just going to return null. We are not going to show anything. So if I save it, we are going to, we are getting the list and we are getting six. So this comes from Redux, All right? Really cool, right? So everything works as expected. Okay. So the next thing is going to be uh, dispatching an action. Whenever we type something right here, we are getting the data inside the console log because we have an event listening for this, but we don't have an action that listens for this. So let's go to the next section and add an action, an action for the, for the, uh, for the search.